We got a Jubilee today. We got an E date today. And a story time. It's seven, bro. I ain't go to sleep on time. Two humpy emote. Make sure we make emotes tonight. What time is the ED? Yo, I need girls for this one. It's a boy. All right, for more, we welcome in CBS Sports College. Hold up, bro. I need to see these highlights from the championship game. Gonzalez, and she's joining us from uh, Dallas. And uh, Izzy, you look at this. We think about what they were just with this. Talking I searched up highlights. Why am I looking at this ugly white bitch? The fuck? All right, for more, we welcome. Oh, my God. I can't escape her, bro. Damn. Watch out. And much like Iowa did against South Carolina, starting off in a triangle in two. And right away, they force a turnover. Here is Clark, eyeing the defense, dumps it in. Sonato, quick turn, and the finish. Why this shit be so fucking, like, how old are we? What year are we in? Why can't we get clear footage? Start the timer? Oh, yeah, my fault. You just fucked y'all up. You shouldn't have reminded me. I probably would have forgot for the whole day. No dribble moves. This is a player that you pointed out, Rebecca, has dribbled a total of once the entire tournament. Johnson in the corner, knocks down the three. That is a welcome sign for LSU. Sonano. That was Blaje. Down the three. The entire tournament. Oh, no, that was her. She's fire. In the corner, knocks down the three. That is a welcome sign for LSU. Sonano will turn. Can't finish it. Johnson the rebound. And oh. Lewis net. Woo! Nice little steal. Okay, we starting up 3 2. They started off strong. How the fuck did they lose? Comes up with a steal. She said, act like there's only two minutes left. Didn't want them to think there was 10. Clark. Oh my gosh, bro. Clark let that shit rip. I just saw the clip of her. Oh my. Bro, little ass fucking neck, bro. She's fire. Championship game. The moment doesn't get oh, come here, and right in your face, it. get your face wet, hands up, hand down, man down, damn, bro, it be the ugly white girls, bro, she's fire, I know they, I know they lost, so I, y'all, oh, should they lost, I'm guessing them, that's still a fire shot, bro. Now, you see where Morris is determined to pick her up. Oh, nice job by Angel Reese, diving in to knock it away. Last possession, Iowa had switched up to a zone defense. They will continue to switch their defenses all game long. That was fire. Reese <laughs> able to dip it in beautifully. Here's Clark on the cut, the bounce. Sonata waits and finishes. Let's feel racist. Why is Ohio a, a all-white team? I thought it was such an interesting way to describe this moment by Lisa Bluter, who's done a wonderful job with this group. Angel Reese, gorgeous delivery inside. Rebound, and Williams able to hold on to it for LSU. Angel Reese facilitating again. Flage jump. Angel Reese fire. That was yeah, Flage. The big problem for them in the first couple of minutes. Here's Clark getting some space. And knocks. She a fucking cannon, bro. She a cannon, bro. White girls, bro. White girls really could shoot. Reese the spin and the finish. Angel Reese has come to play. Why the stand still not always felt? 
field. They keep disrespecting girls basketball, bro. The stand, that's the championship. So the whistle went against Sonano. Oh, they got the Ikes out. The Ikes. The Mikes. The D Underneath the hoop on that attempt. From Come on. Cash Poole. out. Okay, okay. Ain't Drew Reese like 6'3"? They all the same size on the bid, bro. Layer down, you still gonna hit good. Sonato gets it back to Clark with space. She got it. That's why they lost, bro. They only got one player. They got a center and Stephen Curry. That's it. They don't got no other players. They don't got no no niggas who cooking from the mid range. Niggas who laying up. They got fucking a center and Mikael Bridges, bro. They fucking losing. Clark carrying. They don't have nobody else. She just shooting the lights out. Third three of the quarter for Caitlin Clark. She ugly as shit. Yeah. Yo. That's when you don't got nothing else, bro. You just gotta be that bitch. There's not much she can do. I hope Clark keep it up too. I hope she make it to the WNBA. Look, Clark got the ball. What else? What? 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 Look! Look! It's just her. It's just Clark. Look, she. Oh my gosh, she's Stephen Curry. Oh my gosh, she's Stephen Curry, bro. But they need somebody else, bro. I'm mad. I'm mad. If LSU had a better team, you guys see they took six lo six losses. Those are the times they probably shut Clark down. Uh huh. Block. Clark. Uh huh. I want to see who else fucking scores. Ew! Right back. I'm not taking nothing from LSU. I just wish um the other team has somebody besides Curry. Remaining out there. Along with Stokey, with Warnock, okay. And on the bench. Marshall, okay. Try, try. You know why? The the whole white team just too fundamental. They so fundamental. Nobody can really snap into Kyrie Irving mode, John Morant mode. That's that's what the other girl doing. Don't compare that thing to Steph. She a girl, bro. Ugly or not, chill, bro. She really cooking shit. Three percent from three over the last fifteen games. It's a big one to start the second quarter. Johnson, great look inside, and Williams. And you know why they should have got a black player? If they got a black point guard that really cooks shit, plus the center, plus Clark, they would have been a. Ooh. Monica Sonano. She is so important as a screener, as a handoff passer. Right now, not on the floor. Clark spins, dishes, Martin in the rainbow. They think they the fucking Warriors. They don't have nobody that can shoot the fucking two. Where's the layups? Here is Martin finding Stokey running and finishing. Stokey may be a freshman, but she runs the floor incredibly well. That's why they lost. They lost the teamwork. She dicking them right to the paint like she fucking shit, bro. Look, look, ew, that was nice, okay. Bro, they gonna lose, cause once you, once you only could depend on threes, once they lost, lock the perimeter down, that shit runs, bro. They not just keep who the fuck is her defender? Who is her defender? She's always in the corner, just open. Oh my gosh. Unlike everybody else who has two, who has to Dick hit. Dime. Dime. Ew. Bro, they getting. Bro, she just wide the fuck open, bro. Are they playing man? That's because they playing zone. Look, look, look. Look, look, look at this, look at her in the corner, just wide the fuck open. Because she worrying about the wrong shit. She don't got the capabilities to try to be helping in the paint and defending her. Now you run, now you closing in. Yeah, nah, oh my god. It's always, bro, that corner. You don't want her black sister to win? 
They already won. I don't give a fuck if I wanted the whitest person on the floor to win. I'm just upset that they lost by 20 and they're the number two seed. Imagine it's the finals game. It's called a 2-3, bro. I mean, I'm not here to call it. It's still a zone. It's still a zone defense, bro. Yeah, so you feel me? But anyways, my point is, when it's the finals, it's supposed to be close games. They lose. They lost by twenty. I heard. How the fuck you lose by twenty? I wanted it to be a close game. Maybe OT last shot. Ah, you feel me? Hero for LSU today. Followed up by Johnson. Another chance for Carson. She dumps it down and Williams lays it in. Big second chance points there for LSU. So Clark, Sonato, Warnock. Pete, they ain't scoring like 10. This the highlight. Yeah, LSU won. This the highlights, bro. You got to peep, bro. We didn't watch four LSU fucking uh, LSU uh, points. And they shouldn't go up yet. I bet if we go to the real game, they was chucking up fucking shots. Like they was the Splash Bros. Bitch hit the back rim. Uh, that's why she not getting no fucking scholarship. She got... She a monster, bro! Jasmine Carson electrifying the LSU fans as Marshall lays it in. That's their first point. That's just like a, that's like a fucking 13-2 run. Now, Dre was talking about the struggles of Jasmine Carson. Yo, is Fly J nice, yo? Is Fly J nice? Her shooting struggles. In this tournament, she had been 4 for 19 total. Pola knocks down the... In her face, though. In her face. Operate here for Iowa. Where Clark? Sonato turns and finishes. That is a beautiful finish from Monica Sonato. Yes, yes, she nice. Right, post that you back up. Now, I'm always to uh, actual activity start so people don't get bored. They don't want to watch this game. I do, though. She's solid. 11 points per game. Okay, that's solid. Over 2,400 points in her Iowa career. Trying to spur on Yo, she fire. Number two fire. With Caitlin Clark on the bench with three fouls. See? Y'all see what I'm talking about? That's a Kyrie. That's somebody who could go get the shot by themselves. That's what, that's what the other team need. They don't got nobody who could get the ball by themselves. They setting picks and hitting fucking football scrimmages just to get one point off. Two, number two off the bench, too? Never. They got a starter, bro. She's fire. Or maybe she just was doing her thing this game. Right, will you cook them, do you think? I'm not going to lie, bro. Me going in there with a wig knowing I'm a man, I'm, aggr I'm aggressively going in every time to the paint. Watch out, bitch. Oh, boom. Every time, bro. And I could shoot a little bit. I'm going to hit the spot up, Jones. But besides that, I'm, bro, and I got unlimited energy. It's over. It's over. Right. The Clark John on, on Iowa averaged 40 a game. Who? Who? The John that shoot the threes? Damn. I mean, you can identify as a lady as you want. They letting that shit fly? They letting a the man say, I identify as a lady and come in here and dunking on these girls? I hope not. Caitlin Clark, she's fire, bro. Yeah, Fly J. Let me see something, Fly J. Let's fucking go. Oh, shit, my fault, y'all. Girls can't fuck with niggas in basketball. I don't even play no more. And I'm whooping Clark. I'm whooping Clark's ass. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. Put me on the wig. Don't even let me shoot. Just let me defend her. She's not getting a three. I'm playing defense like, bro, they're going to be like, get off my dick, bro. It's going to make her say nigga. Like, bro, I'm going to be on her. The street light. Come here. Bro, I'm not letting her shoot, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a whack, bro. But I'm not. I, bro, I put you in so much defense. You got to be nice, bro. You have to be nice. You got to be nice. Y'all saying cap. I swear to God, on my mother's life, I don't run out of energy when I'm playing basketball. If there's one thing I can do, it's not run out of energy, bro. I'm a hustler. That shit going out of balance, I'm grabbing that shit, throwing it back. Every time I'm getting the saves, I'm getting the rebounds. I'm not even that. I'm not even that. Uh, that tall. I'm running straight to the bottom, jumping up. I don't run out of energy. They be like, bro, you hype as shit. You hype as shit. You hype as shit. Bro, the last time I played ball is when I was cool with uh suing them, bro. I was guarding Sue. Sue hitting. 
they got Memph on him, bro. They got Memph on him. Memph cannot guard the nigga. The nigga too aggressive. I'm I'm throwing my body into him. He yeah, you're not big enough. Every time he backing me down, I'm doing this shoulder like it's football. He turn around, I'm jumping high as shit. Why you jump? I'm already back there. I'm doing nut shit. I'm running for the rebound. I'm grabbing it. I'm on the floor holding it. Get off me. Get off. I'm doing nut shit, bro. I don't run out of energy, bro. It's not happening. If it's one thing I can do, it's stick defense. She cooking you, not gonna lie. Y'all gas her rep, bro. She just got fucking dicked. She got dicked. Too fat. No, he big as fuck, bro. I was playing football. He hacked me again, bro. I'm going to fuck you up. Y'all see how it's, it's always been conflict. Touch me again, bro. I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, I know. All that. Shut up. Bro, I'm a hustler, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. They not even sticking real defense. Let's look up. Let's look at the next play. Let's look at the next play they guard in Clark. Bet they not even guarding her right, bro. Morris looking to take Marshall. Williams and Reese got jumbled up. Damn. All right, look, look, look. This her right here. Look at the defense that's being done on Clark. Clark is the white bitch, by the way, for people who don't know what's going on. Look at this defense. This defense ass. They shot it well from the floor. They have shot it well from the free throw line. Ten of eleven. That is not characteristic of them. Why is she wide open? Splash the fuck out. Y'all know what I do to screens, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's the only time I hack. When I see somebody, uh, sitting a, setting a screen, bro. I'm running through that shit like it's football every time, bro. The only nigga who ever set a screen that fucked me up was Leak, bro. Leak like this, bro. Big body of a team. I thought I was running through it. I fell, bro. Hall of Fame brick wall. She made that. Bro, I'm trying to tell you. That's great defense. On her? Rashi she dropping you off? Nigga, we're talking... Is we talking about a game or 1v1? Dropping me off? She just got a, a double screen. She's the only defense. Look, screen. Come right off. Just off the switch. No, her 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 handles suck, bro. You can't play no better defense than that. That was shitty. Look at number zero. Why did number zero run away from her? What the fuck is she doing? Why did number zero? That's good defense? Oh, oh, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna run away. That's ass. That's good defense. That fucking sucks. They're switching. Why are you switching if you're already on him? Like what? You should have just stayed. She can't read the play? Why would you run to the person who already got... That's dumb, bro. That's called a switch. I know what a switch is. It's pick up pick up my man. But it's no reason to switch. Right here. Perfect. Perfect. What are they switching for? Why are they switching? Look. Look where the defense at. When she dropped down, the center is going to help. You can't run and switch. That's why the three got off. It's called hedging. Look where hedging got him. Look where had you got him. It's already two people down there. Mind you, 24 already in the corner now. But if she would have stayed to her person, then somebody could have broke off to 24 and got her. It would have been a mismatch, but the center stayed below. Bro, y'all shot out. Yo, it's called switching, Rod. I know, bro. I watch basketball. Now they just got that shit in their mouth. 24 wide open. Nobody guarding her. Niggas not hedging. They switch. Some nigga just said that's called hedging. You're shut up. You have to score on all of your positions or a great percentage of them. Sonano looking for some space. Able to finish plus the foul. Mm. Williams. L switch. That was the worst switch. And Jasmine Carson in for LSU. Why not? Carson off the bench at 21 points. Stop talking about ball, little bro. I just check. I just check your messages, bro. You text one time a day, bro. Make that your last message. Keep the trend up. You text again, you ban. In that first half, Warnock, they need it. They Yo, they could shoot the ass off. LSU has to be careful with their gambling on defense. Sonano off the rebound, make you Dre. Here's Clark, Marshall. Ill. 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 Woo. 
Dictor. Dictor. Oh, I wanted her to make that. Okay, center. Second point. Second chance point. Like what, bro? That's it. <laughs> she dicking them. Look. Look. She come right through. Oh, come here. Dick hit. Neck. Ah. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was a bucket, bro. That was a bucket. That was a bucket, bro. Ugly bitches really get in there, bro. She stepped right back in her face. Go back. She did the too little move. Oh, she did. Where'd she do the move at? I don't know if she did the move, but I saw, I saw, I saw like a little Joan on Instagram. She did this in the beginning of the game, and then Reese did it to her right back after they won. <laughs> Season long for LSU. They've been in situations where they get big leads, but do not put their opponents away. More Yo, they defense suck, bro. Oh, Black Jones from LSU? Oh, wow. Big bucket off the inbound there for LSU. If Iowa were to come back, it'd be the largest in title game history. Morris, nice pocket pass, and Williams on the finish. Morris is so dangerous with the pull-up pull jumper, you have to help out on her, and she read it beautifully with that pass. Clark playing with three fouls. Clark separates. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pass. Bro, that's why y'all saying, like, it seemed like I want the white people to win. It's like, bro, when somebody is... When somebody is so fucking tough, you want to see them get some help, bro. She the only one doing it. Look. Clark playing with three fouls. Clark separates and knocks down another. A title game. Bro, she different, bro. She different. She different. Stop it, Rod. What, what you mean? I want to see her get some help, bro. She needs some help. Not the defender, the team. I'm talking about the team need to give her some help. She the only one carrying them, bro. It say she got, what, 25 points? That's crazy, bro. Where the team at? For Clark. She got 25 points, bro. She's 7 for 14. She's shooting for 50%. I'm saying you can't guard her. She's too tough. Bro, I put $2,000 down, bro. She can't beat bro. She can't, she can't beat Riggs. She, bro, it's not even the fact that, it's not even the fact that, uh, she nice. It's just the fact that she a girl. All that aggression, unless she, unless she about to get manly with me and pull out her, her Mike, her Mike Ike d powers. It's not happening. I go, I, I've guarded grown ass men who elbowed me, bro. She not beating them. I've I've guarded big ass men. So you telling me with no screens, me and her, she No. No. It's not happening. It's not. It's not happening, bro. She professional exactly. So she's good under the whistle. I just said I'm talking about one on one, two v twos, that's street ball. No, it's not happening. It's not. Fuck out of here. It's not even no fouls there. You're not getting foul shots. Like, no, under the whistle, she's cooking, bro. She's cooking rigs. She's cooking these niggas. I just said, I'm talking about playing ball. Like, you feel me? It ain't happening. You see the records for Clark. Sonato, deep niggas who know ball know. That street ball and under the whistle, total different things. You put a tough street baller under the whistle, bro, he gonna look fucking stressed. He might throw his jersey. He gonna be stressed, bro. He don't know how to play a team ball. Y'all niggas don't watch bas. Y'all niggas don't uh play ba play play basketball. Y'all just watch it. So y'all, mm, nah, bro. You she, she nice. 
and she's she's six foot and Brill six three. So it's like, what are we talking about? Seven point LSU lead. It was twenty one earlier. Now they is coming back. They can't. They can't. They can't make no twos though. Getting it over to Marshall. Sonata wants it. Eyes up. Finds Davis. Davis into the paint, surrounded, lays it in. Oh, my God. They need her to do more of that. She just got right in there, bro. That was crazy. Davis, you mean? Davis into the paint, surrounded, lays it that in. was W hop stuff. That's a huge bucket for the diminutive Molly Davis. 71, 60. You don't hoop. I let that other one go. You text three today. You on a roll. Don't let it happen again. And they get. In front, you see the bench advantage. She <laughs> did. She just dick her with a little side dribble. <laughs> Look, peep, peep, though. Uh, dick hit, last net. Ah! She missed. No, I was excited for that, bro. She dicked her. Why they switch the POV? Switch it back to the 2K camera, bro. Get up, Clark. Come on. You falling on the ground looking like a fucking nut ass. Like, oh my god. Now nah, she sold the clip. Oh. They the warrior, bro. She tried to hit the leaf. Fuck you, three. That was the leave fuck you three, bro. She she dick turned and waited her waited for her to come back. That's <laughs> She tried to leave fuck you three and so the fucking clip, bro. Yo Morris leaning jumper is good. That was a smart shot. Alexis Morris. It down by 10. Record or 34th double double, most in Division One history. Here's Morris going to work again in the mid range. She got it. She getting cooked by the big body. Warnock can hit the three. Rebound batted around. Clark had to be careful. What's up? Morris. Lock up, lock up. Obviously, watch Angel Reese, you little ass neck. Oh my God. Morris has 10 points. Put it on 1080p. Bro, you would think ESPN has something better, bro. You click quality, you click uh you click quality, bro. 720 the highest. And it's 2023. I know I'm shaking my fucking head too, bro. They don't even offer 1080p, bro. They should be offering four fucking K. They don't. Nine assists. Carson at 21 points in the first half. Reese wants it. Come on, Reese. Cooker. Cooker. Last neck! Ew, Reese! So Sonano fouls out. And now Iowa tries to survive without her. Morris has other plans. Lead is back to 16. What a dime from Clark. And Warnock able to finish. Who the baddest on the court? Well, we can already eliminate the uh the white team. We definitely not into the snow bunnies. If it's snowing, then we blowing the earth up. Um, ew, why you like her ride? She weird as fuck. Who weird? The white girl? She's fine. It don't matter if she's weird. It don't matter if she's fucking ugly. I'm not kissing her. She she just made like six threes. Nigga, she's fire. Look at her. Look at her. The fuck? What you mean why I like her? Look. Look. She's making me enjoy this game. She's the only reason I'm still watching this fucking game. Look at her. Look. Oh. That shit over, bro. Martin gets a clean look. 
Pass it to Clark, yo. Pass it to Clark. They got my fucking 13, bro. Morris up in her space. Clark through the lane. Nice delivery. And O'Grady lays it in. 11 point game. A fresh shot clock on an offensive rebound. Morris into the paint. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, the other players got points, but they didn't get points. Like, you had number, t number two clutching up. You got Angel clutching up. You got the one joint hitting all these mid-ranges. This shit over. It's a minute left. They down by, like, a fucking 11. It's like, it's like, bro, who else besides Clark is going to hit shots? Why is nobody else hitting shots? Like, of course, if they open, they hitting the three. But who about to go get the bucket? I wish somebody was getting a bucket. I wish it was a close game. You feel me? Like if it was if it was like a close game, it's like yo. Leaning and hitting. Davis trying to apply it, cannot. Angel Reese with four to shoot. Pool going for the dagger. You bet. Martin lets it fly and knocks down the three. Martin was doing her thing too. Williams will back it out. Morris will let it fly. Why not? It's been that kind of night. Kim Mulkey in year two has orchestrated a turnaround for the ages. LSU has captured its very first national championship. That's just sad, bro. Yeah, obviously foul trouble. Not really what you want in the national championship game, especially for our two seniors who have given so much to this program and they have to sit the rest of the- Yo, Smiley, thanks for the sub! To finish their career on the bench. It's not something that they deserved by any means. And, um, you know, I thought they called it very, very tight. Um, I don't know about the two push offs in the second quarter. I'm sure, you know, they saw that I pushed off and they called it uh, whatnot and then hit with the technical foul in the third for throwing the ball under the basket. And, you know, sometimes that's how things go. And, um, you know, I thought all I could do is respond. Wait, is she a boy? No, she do look like a nigga. It's a girl, though. I see the hair coming right out her roots. Unless niggas just that fucking low. Respond and come back out there and, and keep fighting and keep trying to help this team crawl back into the game. And, um, you know, I'm just proud of this group because we never gave up. We never, you know, we could have gone into halftime and been like, what do we do? But our halftime locker room was like, we're fine. We got this. We believe in one another. We have the offensive firepower to come out here and cause some damage. And, you know, I thought you showed our fight. It showed our fight, um, this team. And that's what the story has been all year long. It's just a bunch of fight and mental toughness. And, um, yeah, you got to give a lot of credit to LSU. They played an outstanding, outstanding game. And, um, you know, they made some tough some tough threes, some tough jumpers off of, you know, ball screens, um, you know, and sometimes you have to live with them with some of that. So, um, yeah. We're going to stay to our left. Go ahead, Lindsay. Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Uh, Monica and Caitlin, I know it can be hard to be reflective at this point right after you walk out of the locker room, but I wonder if both of you could speak to what Caitlin has done for the women's game over the last three weeks. You know, the numbers the other night were bonkers. A lot of people tuned in today and I think that she probably single-handedly made a lot of little kids want to play basketball and just how will that impact be felt next year and maybe the year after if she stays and beyond. Yeah, I mean, she's a phenomenal basketball player. We all know that. She's proven it time and time again, but I think the biggest thing is the way she holds herself and the way she plays the game. Um, she's doing it the right way. She's doing it the fun way. Uh, she's being a role model to little kids who want to grow up and be just like her. Um, that's a great thing. Uh, so I think in these past three weeks, 
she's done so much, but it's not just these three weeks. She's been doing it, I mean, since she decided to play basketball, it's been a progression to this point. So um, we all know what a phenomenal basketball player she is, but it's a person she is behind it all that's inspiring these kids as well. Thanks, Juan. I think just the biggest thing is, you know, it's really, really special, and I don't think it's going to set in for me for quite some time. Um, I want my legacy to be the impact that I can have on young kids and the people in the state of Iowa. And I hope I brought them a lot of joy this season. I hope this team brought them a lot of joy. I understand we came up one win short, but I think we have a lot to be proud of and a lot to celebrate. Um, and I was just that young girl, so all you have to do is dream and you can be in moments like this. I want to take a question to our right in the front row. Yeah, she crying because her team suck. Peepaw, they got the best two players up there. Her and the fucking center. The center built like Bradley Bill. They really shacking Kobe for real, bro. They just needed, like, somebody else. Hey, I'm Chloe Peterson, Daily Iowan. Despite losing, what does it mean for the program to just appear in the national championship game for the first time? I think it's huge for us. Um, it just shows the hard work that Coach Bluter and this coaching staff have been putting in since so long before this team uh, did this. They're just doing it the right way. I keep saying it all the time, but we truly are a family. Uh, they're bu they've built something truly special there. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to do this anywhere else with any other team, with any other group of people. Uh, so it's truly been an honor. To our far back left-hand side, please. Bro, after I lose to niggas, that's like that I didn't want to lose to. I'm not hitting the, yeah, like, bro, if this fucking, cam if this camera do it again, bro, I'm going to slam something. Anyways, I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, I wouldn't want to do it with any other team. I respect LSU. Fuck them. I'm better than all y'all. No, never mind. You can't say shit like that because then next year if you ask, they're going to fucking cook you. Please. Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. Um, Monica, you might have a little more freedom to address this, but uh, this has been a phenomenal tournament. You guys were on ABC today, numbers have been through the roof, and the officiating today was a no Yo, uh, cash out in. My mod's going to tell me your name, bro. I'm watching an interview right now. Uh, great. Uh, Do LSU interview. I saw your message, bro. I want to see what Clark got to say. Give me a second. Uh, the 37 fouls is a record for the tournament. Um, what... What needs to be done? I mean, you know, does that... They had 37 the what? Tournament? Um, what? What needs to be done through the roof? And the officiating today was uh, not great. Uh, the 37 fouls is a record for the tournament. Damn. Yeah, 37 um, fouls? What, what they needs can't to be guard done? them. I mean, you know, does that hurt the women's game? And, and what, you know, what would you like to see going forward? Yeah, I don't really think that's a great question for me to answer, honestly. I'm going to leave that up to whatever powers may be, but um, we can't live in the past. All we can do is live in the moment. That game happened. Those calls were called uh, going forward. We'll see what people... Yeah, that mean they really couldn't guard them. They was mad as shit. They was getting cooked. Because we ain't never get to see the foul shots, bro. So you got to really think, bro. They probably was hacking the shit out of them. People decide to do about it, but as of right now... No, it could have been terrible call. It probably was terrible call. I saw somebody in the comments say it was uh, LSU. Damn, how many points did they get off fouls? No. That got to be horrible cause. I saw somebody say LSU and the rest versus Iowa. They must have been calling a lot of fouls, bro. Bro, that's nutty of the refs. If the rest was wildin', bro. I'm just so proud of what this team has done despite adversity. Uh, throughout the entire season, we've come out and just given it our all. And that's really all you can do um, in any of these situations is just put your heart into it and believe it. The ref came right in. Pass me a jersey. I got this one. Ran right in. Low ass neck. Bro, I hope they wasn't like... Damn. I hope the refs ain't like... We did that. To our right, Howard. Howard McDowell with the next. Congratulations. Damn. From 37 to 74 points, possibly, if they hit their shots, right? Bro, I'm mad as shit, bro. Damn, that's Saudi. Just you both on a terrific season. I don't care anyway. She white. I wanted the black team to win regardless. I just got a, I got a soft spot for Clark, bro. She, she made that game enjoyable to watch.
Um, Caitlin, I'm hoping you could take me through the moment when Monica Falzon. Bro, she would have been over. she would have been praised like 2015 Curry, bro. If free throw, Iowa had 19 fouls, uh, LSU had 18. So what are they talking about? That's total, both teams, bro. So why is she saying it like they was cheating? She said, um, obviously bad officiating. See, now I'm done, and I don't give a fuck about Clark. And it's getting a thumbs down. You know why? Because at the end of the day, yeah, let me go to LSU uh, interview. Because at the end of the day, bro, now I feel like the, the reporter is fucking white. So she's saying shit like, yeah, obviously bad officiating. You know the fuck what? That's why you can't be nice to the white people. Because then they do shit like that. They pull little stunts like that. You feel bad for them when they really still getting under the nitty gritty. I don't give a fuck about Clark. I'm glad she got her ass bust. Let's watch our black queens right now. A few notes about the fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, and y'all was talking about the white coach. Y'all saw D, bro. The white coach coached them. Fuck her. Don't be racist. I'm not racist, bro. I, she said 37 fouls. If a team got 37 fouls on them, obviously some of them Jones is fake, bro. But then she gonna sit there. She gonna sit there and say, obviously it was a bad officiating. Thirty seven fouls. It's a high. It's a. It's a. It's a tournament high. How do you feel about that? I mean, we can't really control the refs. Now I'm thinking, damn, how much? How many shots did LSU get at the foul line to them be up by as much as they was? It was nineteen to eighteen. So y'all said y'all had the same amount of shots. It don't matter if the rest was cheating. You had the same opportunities. You should have said how you feel about the 19. Now we're going to watch Angel Reese and LSU. We're going to open with questions for the student athletes. After we fill those questions, we will dismiss the student athletes and then allow coach to field questions as well. We're going to start to, we're going to start to our left. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, this is Dorothy Gentry with The Athletic. This is for uh, both Angel and Alexis. First of all, Alexis, the emotion, you were on top of the table, you were having a great time. <laughs> Talk about the emotion that you feel, all you've been through, the journey, um, reuniting with Coach Mulkey. Just talk about how you feel. It's just the comeback. Um, it's bittersweet that I have to leave, but it's like I'd rather leave on top than anything compared to anything. So I'm just super excited. Um, if you know me, I'm never satisfied. I'm super excited that we won, but I'm hungry. Like I'm greedy. I want to win it all, you know, so I can complete the story and complete the comeback. Yes, I've been sir. through so much. Like, so much that you already know, so. Black Queen, hold up. My fault, Alexis. We want to see the baddie in the building. You said enough, though. Appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. Can we start with Angel? It's like a dream. It still hasn't hit me that I'm at the Final Four. I'm, I'm just not even believing this right now. Like, it's crazy how much my life has changed in one year, how much I've grown on and off the court, and then to be with this amazing program, LSU, and then to be with my amazing teammates and amazing coaches. I just don't even know how to feel right now, and just to be... Y'all got to think, this is after she just won a finals game. This after she just won a final. This is her hair after she won a finals game. So imagine if you feel me, yeah. Able to believe in each other. All we had was each other. We, we believed in each other more than anybody else. So I'm just happy. I'm excited. I'm full of emotions right now. Angel pretty much said how I feel too. Like it still hasn't hit me, and you know maybe if you know we're the standing champions at the end, then maybe I can just let go and just be like ah, like it's a relief. But yeah, it's super. I'm super excited. It's amazing. We just made history too. The first LSU team to ever compete for. Right, I got you beating her 11-0. They said she's six three and she black, bro. She gonna whoop my ass. 
the thing about Clark is, if Clark was dribbling and getting to the fucking paint, I would have been like, yo, fire. No, I think this is it. Oh, this say one day ago. This not it. This is. Uh. Angel, you were in foul trouble to start this game. How did this group come together in the locker room at half? Bro, I got that Philly tight. What that even mean? You know what my girlfriend looked like. Time and really come together in the biggest moment to win this national championship. It's no one man show around here. When I go down, the next man is up. Every single time, every time I go out or Alexis goes out, everybody always comes to step up, steps up. Samaya came in as a freshman. Everybody from the big Jasmine Carson. Are you telling me 21 points in the first half? That's what we needed from her, and I'm super excited and happy for this team. I've, I've watched you all season long. Your leadership, you hold your teammates accountable. Sometimes it's hard conversations. How have you led this group to a national championship? Hey, my teammates take constructive criticism. I get on them, they get on me, and it's all positive, and we know we're just trying to get each other better. So this team is just amazing. We build each other up from the summertime, and I'm so happy. Kim said you have so many different... Did you add our time yet? Uh, no. One, two, three... Four, five, six. It's six subs. Personalities, and it took a lot of different ones. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If we playing with the championships, you taking those eyelashes off. Take them bitches off. I'm not gonna lie. We might as well play ball. You need to. You need to be like. You need to be like free. You might as well get a fucking body. Get a body. No, no sexy panties, bro. Wear some briefs. You need to be comfortable and ready to dunk the ball. Fuck all this cute shit, bro. You need to be ready to dunk the ball. Sports bra is too tight. Make sure it's cool. Make sure it's on your body. Ain't nothing will pop out, but not too tight, bro. We need to be ready to dunk the ball. Shoot the three. Why is she wearing eyelashes, bro? To get here, when you're celebrating and you guys realize that this is within your grasp, what did you say as you came together? That's the MVP right there. That's the MVP. Believe and believe. That's all we did all year. Just take a deep breath and just keep believing in each other. Nobody thought we were gonna be here. Nobody. As long as we believed in each other, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so happy. All that mattered is you believed you could be here, Angel. Thank you. I appreciate you, Holly. Thank niggas you. don't gotta be cute. We do. Yes, niggas do. Ugly niggas get so much disrespect. Girls don't even know how they make ugly niggas feel. Niggas come on my stream and they joke. But at the end of the day, bro, ugly niggas get the utmost disrespect. They, the first time they try to shoot they shot at a girl, they get fucking laughed at. You know how I feel to get fucking laughed at? You try to shoot at a girl and she laugh. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, you had the nerve. Niggas gotta still be, you feel me? Bro, if Kevin Durant wasn't a millionaire, he would get no bitches. His shit looked like a rug on top of his head, bro. Niggas gotta work too. Niggas, they would say, ew. You be blocking the ugly Jones? I'm returning the energy. Bitches will let. Bro, you you saw what Lay did. Rod, that happened to you, dot, dot, dot. Nobody never laughed at me. At the end of the day, I, I never shot my shot at nobody I thought I couldn't get. I ne I wasn't a risky nigga. I wasn't walking up to the bitch, that bitch. I wasn't walking up to that bitch and saying, yeah, I could fuck with you. That bitch obviously fuck with that nigga. And that nigga gonna cheat on her. I'ma see you later on. Me being funny, you never got laughed at? Fuck no. I wouldn't even check, bro, I already told y'all from my story time, if you were OG, you know I told y'all, don't even be texting these girls these heartfelt messages unless it's your girlfriend, bro. They're going to instantly screenshot it and put it in their close friends. Why would you, why would you even embarrass yourself? Girls love screenshotting, bro. I don't think there's no girl in this world that didn't screenshot. As soon as, as soon as you text... And you think you that nigga and you ugly. If you cute, bro, she's still gonna screenshot it. But if you ugly, she's gonna she's gonna screenshot it and show show her best friend, her sister, whoever she talked to that day. Like, ew, why would he? You're a conversation for the day. Don't ever do it to yourself. I, I, I would never. Who doesn't screenshot? Me. If a girl shoot her, if I'm single, a girl shoot her shot. I don't screenshot it. Send it to leak. Like, yeah, bro, look. 
That's a girl thing, bro. That's gossiping. I don't I don't do that. Never. I never screenshot it and sent it to my mans. I don't ever go up to him like, yeah, look who I begged. But girls do. So it's like, bro. No. Angel Reese, a champion for LSU. Let's fucking go, Angel. Fly J is ugly as shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fly J ugly as shit. Only time I screenshot is if I need to remember something. I don't screenshot messages. Bitches probably got messages. Girls got messages from long time ago. A girl would have a message from her ex when he tried to play. Like, bro, that was two years ago. Girls don't even, like, delete screenshots either. Oh, I, I don't got no space. It's due to TikTok and you being a, a messy bitch. Delete those screenshots. I sure do. I know. I know you do. <laughs> I'm just saying. that. That's what I'm saying, though. Oh, that's their coach. What they coach had to say. What they coach had to say. That's their coach. That's why she lost. She don't want to pick up no fucking black people. Oh, well, I need evidence. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying I don't do that. I'm just saying, like, me personally. But I don't have to. It's different with me. I don't need to screenshot nothing. I don't even unsend. I already told y'all. Once I shoot my shot, I don't even unsend my message. If you don't reply, you're going to reply someday. And I'm going to laugh. I'm going to return a favor. I don't even unsend nothing. Bro, She, she it's her fault she lost. She should have picked up a, a black point guard that can get to the fucking bucket. She's a fucking loser. They know their role models. Uh, they relish in it. She about to cry? <laughs> And not just for a young oh, kid. Oh, shit. Her eyes watering. Diane. Either. This team has brightened the lives of so many people of all ages. Um, yeah, of course, I'm happy I get to coach Caitlin another year. Maybe two. Nancy, go ahead. Lisa, Nancy, Armour, USA Today. Um, I'll ask you about the fouls. The game yeah. has progressed in terms of the players, the coaching, everything else, and today we saw the, the officiating has... Don't be racist, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, she's Saudi as fuck. It's not, kept pace. She's Saudi as fuck. She's sick, she's sick as fuck, she's sick. That's Saudi. We wasn't talking about you, we was talking about majority. No, we actually, we actually wasn't ever talking about that. We was talking about, um... We was talking about niggas having to keep up with themselves as well. Niggas who don't keep up with themselves is very atrocious. A nigga told me, yeah, bro, I ain't get a haircut in two months. How? That's part of the reason you ugly, bro. Girls literally keep switching their hairstyles. They'll go crazy if they don't. And niggas will go two months without a haircut. That's the difference between the average man and, like, a loser. You don't got to be me. I'm not saying, like, get your hair cut every week. But, bro, two months, bro? No. It's crazy. The nigga yesterday. My cut's $40, bro. Why you even got a barber that costs that much? Do you have $40 haircut money? She lost, and she lost a black woman. Ah! <laughs> I'm that nigga, right? Alright, so as a nigga who gets no haircut, it's like, how do you even...